In this video, I'll demonstrate how to determine the upper and lower control limits for both an X bar chart or a means chart and an R chart or range chart when we're given the overall mean and average range, but not a standard deviation. This question corresponds to problem S6.3 in your text. Here we're told that 35 samples of size 7 each were taken from a fertilizer bag filling machine with the following results. The overall mean, 57.75 kilograms, and the average range, 1.78 kilograms. So this means that the overall mean, this is X bar bar, and this average range is R bar. Our requirements here are to determine the upper and lower control limits of both an X chart and an R chart, where, and here's the problem with this question, is it should not say where sigma equals 3, it should say z equals 3, because this corresponds to a 3 sigma control chart. If you interpret sigma to be 3, then what you would do is say, well, the questions provided me with the population or process standard deviation or sigma, and then I can go ahead and use the other formula. But that's not the case here. So because we're not provided with the standard deviation, we have to use the alternative formula that's provided for us in our textbook. And that formula for an X chart will be where the upper control limit and the lower control limit for an X bar chart is equal to X bar bar plus or minus A2 times R bar. Well, A2 is a value of the mean factor from table S6.1 in your text that I've now included below for a three sigma control chart. The point of the data telling us that Z equals three for a three sigma control chart is directly related to the factors we must pull from this table. If we're looking for a range chart, well, the upper control limit is D4 times R bar, and the lower control limit is D3 times R bar. So for requirement A, we'll start with calculating our upper control limit for the mean to be equal to 57.75 kilograms plus we're told that our sample size is 7 not 35 a lot of students get confused with that there are 35 samples taken but there's only but there's only 7 observations within each so the sample size is 7 which means if we look at our table we want 7 corresponding to an A2 factor of 0 0.419 so we'll add 0 0.419, and then we multiply that by our, our range of 1.78 kilograms, and that will give us an upper control limit of 58.496. For the lower control limit, that's 57.75 minus 0 0.419 times 1.78, which gives us 57.004. For requirement B, the upper control limit for our R chart is equal to D4, which is 1.924, times the average range of 1.78. That will give us an upper control limit of 3.4272. And the lower control limit for the R chart is 0 0.076 times 1.78. That will give us a lower limit of 0 0.135 kilograms. And that's it. That's how we determine the upper and lower control limits when we're not given a standard deviation, but are given the overall mean and range so that we can use the three sigma control chart limit factor table. 